This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Mark Mullins, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. RTV6 is looking into the safety of delivery drivers after a mother says she was robbed at gunpoint while dropping off a food order. This happened in Anderson on Monday night when Jessica Hedquist, a DoorDash driver, was dropping off pizzas for Papa John's. After some confusion about the delivery address, two boys flagged her down but said they forgot their cash. Jessica says the next thing she knew, there was a gun to her head. The suspects took her purse and the food. Anderson police say this is a good reminder for delivery drivers to always stay cautious and call off the delivery if something seems wrong. Once she found out uh, that the address that she was given was not the correct address, that should have um, raised a red flag with her and maybe reestablished contact for the vendor who she was making the delivery for. DoorDash has a transparency feature that lets drivers reject orders in areas they don't view as safe. Anderson police are asking anyone with information on this case to contact their department. Indianapolis Animal Care Services is one step closer to building a new and larger shelter. On Thursday, the Board of Business and Neighborhood Services approved a contract extension with an architecture group that is working to design it. In 2017, that same group conducted a building needs study. Due to the age, size, and current layout, they made the recommendation to relocate and build a brand new shelter. Leaders at IACS say a new shelter will increase their ability to care for animals and find them forever homes. To have a new facility is critical for us to move forward and to continue to increase our live release rate. Um, our staff is doing amazing things in the current facility, but they're really limited by what we have right now. There is no word yet on where that new shelter may be located. Light snow headlines, your Saturday forecast light accumulating snow. Don't think it'll amount to much, an inch or less. The wind will be noticeable, gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour. As far as the forecast, once we get past the snow, then it's dry for several days. Temperatures a little above the average of 36 degrees. Temperatures next week close to 40 nearly each day with just a small chance for rain Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. Kevin, thank you. And for more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for joining us.